Hey guys, Chuck Jones here. I want to do a quick video to show you a tool that I've been using to actually create my own images, okay? And, you know, and advertising on the net, uh, creating your own images or having images is major, it's big. Uh, so I put uh, create my images to put in, to, for post in Facebook, uh, Google Plus, and especially my blog. So in this illustration, I'm going to show you exactly how I create this. Use this little tool that you can get also to allow you to create your own images and put on your blog and post in, in different places like that. Okay, so let's get straight into it. The first thing that you what you need to do is we're going to go to your desktop. And right here, I'm going to show you this. I created this little folder. So if you don't know how to create one on your screen, I'm going to right click my mouse, go down to new, and click folder. There's a new thing, and then I named it that. It's that simple. Okay. So let's just get rid of that. Now, that's the folder that I wanted to create. All right. Now it's on my desktop. Remember that. Uh, web images one on one. Okay. The next thing is. We're going to go over to Google and you're going to type J I N G in the search bar and you're going to be taken to the result page that says the TechSmith Gene. It's a free screenshot uh, software. And basically, when you download it, this is what it's going to look like. It, when it's activated, it's going to actually come up at the top of your screen. So right where my cursor is, this is what it'll look like when it comes down. So here's the tool that we want to use. Before we do that, I want to go to the page. Uh, exactly. Let's close down the gene. So we just uploaded, I mean, downloaded the gene. And let's go to the page that I want to get my image. Okay. Now, let's go up at the top hit that tool where it says capture okay now we're gonna left click it and it grab it this is what the tool looks like now I'm gonna go to the cursor and I'm gonna put it right at the end where I wanna start where I wanna capture this so now hold and left mouse down hold it drag it across to what you wanna capture come down to what you wanna capture and as far as what I want to capture, okay. So if you can see at the the uh, the very left, or excuse me, right hand corner at the bottom, you see where it says 796 by 398. I think that's what I can see. But anyway, that's the dimensions. Now I'm still holding it. So now let the mouse go. All right. Now this comes up. So when it does, then I want to capture the image. I have captured the image. And let's do this. This this what this little tool comes up. Let's just say I wanted to highlight something, like frame something inside the picture I just ca uh, captured. All right, so I take the frame and do the same thing. Hold the mouse, scroll that over. And oh, I think I captured it. I like that. Go over here and get me a pointer. Take it and point from her over here to like that. And then that's it. Now come back and say save. Now. Remember the, the file that I opened up, web images, I mean the, the folder I created, uh, that's it right there. Now, let's go down here and name it, uh, viral blogging image 2, let's name it something like that, whatever. All right, hit save. Now, when that happens, this opens up. Let's just close down this window for now and hit open file and there's my image. It is already saved now in my file, but I want you to realize, excuse me, I got the hiccups. My default um, uh, um, image editor is Microsoft Office Picture Manager. So whatever default, uh, uh, I mean default, uh, image uh, editor you have that's what it'll go to okay so uh, there's my picture we're gonna close that down now I'm over into my blog I'm in the back office of my Empire Network blog the first thing I did I, 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 I hit text I actually typed in the heading that I wanted I typed in that again and now I'm gonna highlight that and for the SEO reasons I'm gonna just gonna start this off to say Okay, I want the heading. That's it. Come in here and hit enter. It closes, the cursor comes down. Go right over here where it says add um, media. Click it. 
okay that window opens up and it tells me that I can either do images video or audio I have images clicked and I want to upload it from my computer click it then it says click here to browse my computer I'm going to browse for the file that I had and remember that was in web images one-on-one click it there's the image that I saved there it is right there and hit open it is uploading uploading there's the image go right down to the bottom say add media click it voila there is my image guys it's in my blog okay it's that simple next after you get through then you come down and finish editing uh, creating your blog post okay so this is how you do it all right I hope that was helpful to you uh, let me see anything else that I think I need to cover I think that's pretty much it guys um, that tool right there can help you create as many images the size that you want and create start creating your whole library of images that you're going to use in your blog post uh, Facebook and uh, Google Plus uh, uh, post that you do all right I hope you enjoyed that take care wish you much online success take care Chuck Jones See ya!